Hey, hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm gonna show you how you can use the new Rampant Modern Promo 01 Premiere Pro template. That's right, these are Premiere Pro templates. There's no After Effects, there's no dynamic linking, there's no plugins, it's just a straight up Premiere Pro project with nothing but 100% native Premiere Pro goodness. That's right, so you don't need to have any After Effects skills or compositing skills in order to use this template. You just bring in your footage, change the type, and you're good to go. All right, so before we jump into Premiere, let's do one thing here. Let's go into the Finder. If you're on Windows, go ahead and use Windows Explorer, but whatever system you're using, let's go ahead and find our project file, which is right here. This is the Rampant Modern Promo 01 PR PROJ file. It's right there, and then in that same folder, you're gonna find our template ins installation PDF, which quickly goes over how to unzip the file, what versions of Premiere you can use, what fonts we can use, how to fill out a support ticket, and of course, you can call us here as well. Under the assets folder, just twirl that down real quick, you've got a bunch of placeholders. This has a ridiculous number of video placeholders. It's an entire promo. So there's 46 spots for video. There's a spot for logo. There's a bunch of uh, letter boxes and uh, different design elements that you have from various uh, rampant libraries that we've put in here for free. We've got some light leaks. We've got some design elements from uh, uh, rampant motion graphics for editors, volume one and two. We've got film from Studio Film. We've got all kinds of letter boxes and just other kinds of design elements uh, included absolutely free uh, with this uh, particular template. All right, cool. So now that you know what's in it, let's go ahead and uh, get into Premiere. Real quick though, like I'd say in all these tutorials, here's your project file. Go ahead and duplicate it before you do anything else because once you make changes, it's changed for life. This is a template file, so you can't ever go back to the original unless you have a duplicate. You can always go back to the zip file that you download, but why bother? Just literally before every project, just go ahead and duplicate. All right, so you can either double click this file to load up Premiere Pro, or you can import it into another file, depending upon what you have, or, uh, another version of uh, Premiere, another edit. Uh, do whatever you want, uh, this is real, real simple. So let's jump into Premiere Pro here. Okay, we're in Premiere Pro, and as you can see, you've got this, uh, basically this pr uh, preview of the edit here, and you've got some stuff in your project window, but this is basically what you're going to get. And I'm using uh, CC 2014 right now. I should be throwing that out there. Um, these particular files uh, work in CC 2014 and above. Uh, if you're using anything earlier than CC 2014, which would be what, CC or CS4, CS5, CS6, it doesn't work in those. This uses particular technology that's just not available in the CS uh, version. This is uh, for CC 2014 and, and above. Okay. So what do I do here? I, 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 you know, we've had some people write us and go, oh, I don't really even know what I'm looking at. This right here, uh, this, this sequence that's open, you're only going to want to export this. If you're savvy enough to break through and, and just you know, rip into everything I've done, you're more than welcome to check it out. But the, the reality is you just need to export this particular sequence. You don't need to do anything because everything that we do will trickle down into this sequence. All right, so like I said, there's a ton of video slots. There's uh, quite a few uh, title slots. And of course, a place for your logo. So, what do we do? Um, you know, how do we even get started? This looks huge. I mean, it's it's over a minute long. There's all this stuff. What do I do? Well, let's go over here to the project window and let's work sequentially. Let's start out with number one, your video. All right. So, look at all this video. Hoo hoo hoo. There's a lot to change here. So, the very first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need some stock footage. I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And I'm just going to bring in some, some clips. You're going to need a lot more clips than this, but I'm just going to show you really quickly how to use this uh, template. I'm not going to build out the whole thing for those of you who don't want to sit through the entire building of this thing. All right, so your video. Twirl that down. Let's go to video one. Double click that, and it's got this placeholder. I'm going to twirl that back up, go to my video, and I'm just going to put video over top. You could also replace it, your call, whatever you want to do, but I've just put video in there, right? Cool. So if I go here, it trickles down. See, oh, now that shot's already in there. Ooh, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, huh? Yeah, okay, so let's just twirl this down and go to video two. And again, drop in some video, right? And then, oh, wait. So it's, it's completely dynamic. Whatever I do in this comp trickles down. So I don't really have to worry about much, right? Let's go ahead and just do video three real quick. And that's the last one I'm going to tweak because it obviously it all makes sense. Once again, put your video over it. And there you go. And it just trickles down automatically. 
And just like I say in all the tutorials for these uh, template files, I built this particular project on the slowest Mac I could find. That way, uh, the hope is that uh, whatever machine you're using at home, whether it's a Mac or a PC, it'll be uh, just as fast, if not faster. I have friends uh, who've got really nice machines, and this stuff just tears through it. So that's it. It's that simple. So uh, working sequentially, let's go back down to your titles, right? You want to scroll down, and you've got a lot of titles that you, you have in here. I mean, this is a big project, right? So just like any of our previous um, templates, you can click on the title itself or on the title sequence, however you want to work. Let's click on the, the sequence itself, which is basically just another timeline, and then you double click on title 01, and then you change it, right? So whammy, right? Title 01 is taken care of, whammy. So if I go over here, it's going to say whammy over the very first title. See right there, whammy. It's probably two M's in that, but you know. Who cares? Whammy. Super simple. Same thing with title two. You can open up the second sequence if you want, or you can just click on title two in the in the uh, project window. Once again, whammy. You put two uh, M's in that one, so it's whammy, bammy, right? Boom. See how quick that is? And of course, if you want that centered, if you make a title small enough and you want it centered, that's fine. You just go over here to center, and so on and so forth and we're good to go. So we've got whammy, bammy. See? Cool. So you do that through all the titles as well. And here you can pick your text color, right? And the title background color. So you just double click your text color and you can change whatever you want. You can double click on this right here to change your title background color. And here's where you put your logo on number four. Just double click your logo timeline. And it's got this placeholder. I'm going to go ahead and put my rampant logo in there right here. It's an AI file, so it's got some built-in uh, transparency. You can put in a PNG file, a PSD file, you can put video, you can put an animation, you can put text in there if you want. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to turn this off. So now it's just my logo. So at the very end, I should see my logo right there, right? Cool. And that's it. I mean, it's it looks like a lot, right? Because there's a lot going on. This is an entire promo, right? So it's over 40, was it 45 or 46 uh, video placeholders, a bunch of te uh, text, um, and then your logo. But that's it. And using rampant elements, everything's already uh, pre-adjusted, pre-blended for you. It's uh, really, really kind of cool. So that's about it. It's that simple to change your text, change your footage, add your logo, change the colors, and you're done. It's that simple. Then just go to this uh, Modern Promo 01 Premiere Pro template and just go File, Export, Media, and you're good to go. Pick your flavor, pick how you want to export, hit Export, and you're done. Real, real simple to make a good, clean-looking modern promo with just a, a little bit of footage and some text. So for this Premiere template file or any other Premiere template file that you're looking for or preset, go to premiertemplates.net. That's premiertemplates.net. And uh, you grab as much as you'd like. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design Tools, and I'll catch you later.